Hey, how's it going everyone? This is White Pointer, and it's time to explore some more video game title changes. As usual, we'll cover three games in this episode, and this time, we're going to look at Mortal Kombat Deception, Elder Bits, and Contra. Let's get right into it. Yep, so, even the famed Mortal Kombat series is not immune to the wrath of the title change deities. After Mortal Kombat 4's release, series co-creators Ed Boon and John Tobias parted ways. John Tobias went on to form his own studio named Studio Giganti, notable for releasing the game Tao Feng Fist of the Lotus. Ed Boon remained at Midway and helmed the development of the new Mortal Kombat games. Three games in a kind of sub trilogy that would be given subtitles instead of just the standard sequential numbering. These were Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, Mortal Kombat Deception, and Mortal Kombat Armageddon, entries 5, 6, and 7 respectively. These games were notable for having completely 3D gameplay, and for each fighter possessing two to three distinct fighting styles they could switch between on the fly, including weapon style. It's the middle game of this group, Mortal Kombat Deception, released in 2004, that ran into title troubles, specifically in France. Midway initially denied the rumours, but it wasn't long before a press release was issued to confirm them. The official press release stated that it was because of translation issues. Those issues specifically were that in French, the word deception is roughly equivalent to the word disappointment. Hmm. I am very disappointed! Obviously, Ed Boon and his team didn't want to convey the wrong message, so they renamed the game exclusively for France to Mortal Kombat Mystification. The rest of Europe received the game by its original title. Funnily enough though, it appears as though the team that came up with the alternative title saw the humorous side of it, because if you look up the English meaning of the word mystification, the definition from the Cambridge Dictionary is the state of feeling very confused because someone or something is impossible to understand. <laughs> Perhaps the MK team were just as bewildered about changing their name as everyone else was. Elibits was a cute, unique and fun game developed by Konami for the Nintendo Wii and released in 2006 that was a first-person shooter of sorts. Instead of shooting to kill enemies though, the player shot to collect tiny little electric creatures called Elibits and shot to move items around, kind of like a gravity gun, to find them. As they captured more Elibits, their gun would become stronger and be capable of moving heavier items in search of the elusive creatures. The player was tasked to use pretty much all of the Wii Mode's motion sensing capabilities to capture as many Elibits as they could. When the game was released to PAL regions though, it was renamed to LEDs. All references within the game to Elibits were also changed to LEDs. At the time, a spokesperson from Konami said, we needed a game name that could be used all over Europe. But nobody really knew exactly what that meant. Why couldn't Europe use the same name as North America? In fact, we still don't really know, but we can make a pretty educated guess. The most popular theory that's been posted on many websites around the internet, such as Kotaku and Neogaf, is that the word Elibits could be interpreted in French as Elibit. Uh, you'll have to excuse my awful French accent. Uh, this roughly means and the penises, or and the dicks in English. And I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. So, um, yeah, that sounds like a pretty good reason to alter a title. And suddenly, what the spokesperson said about wanting a name that could be used all over Europe is seen in a new light. Speaking of light, the new title LEDs was clearly meant to be a play on the acronym LEDs, short for Light Emitting Diodes, which are electronic components that light up when receiving a current. Haha, uh -huh. see what they did there? Haha. Uh -huh. Konami's Contra and its sequels are known to be some of the most brutally difficult games to have ever graced the early generation consoles. And that's saying something, as many games were made intentionally difficult in the choose back then. According to Contrapedia, uh, yes, believe it or not, there is a Contrapedia, uh, the word Contra was created as a kind of play on words from Japanese kanji, where three characters, pronounced Kon, To, and Ra, were combined. But Contra is also a real word, in case you're wondering. It was a label given to certain political rebel groups between 1979 and the early 1990s. When the game was ported from the arcades onto home consoles and localised for different regions, it actually underwent not one, but two bizarre name changes. The arcade and home computer ports of Contra were renamed to Grisor for the European market. 
Now, this only happened for the power release. The Japanese version was still tied to a contract, despite what some sources might claim. Now, according to many sources that I found, this was due to political reasons. The word Contra could have been interpreted as making references to the Iran-Contra affair, or the Nicaraguan Contra rebels. The Iran-Contra affair was a political scandal around the time the game was released in 1987, when the United States covertly facilitated the sale of firearms to Iran in an effort to free hostages and to fund the Contras in the country of Nicaragua. So for the release in Europe in Oceania, it was renamed Grisor. And as far as I've been able to determine, this word was completely made up and didn't actually mean anything specific, aside from the player character's name being Lance Grisor. So that was safe there. The story of the game was also significantly altered. But the renaming shenanigans didn't stop there. The game's title was changed to Probotector exclusively for the NES Power release. This was supposed to be an amalgamation of the words Robot and Protector. Although, if you ask me, Effectively having the word probe in there, that's not great either. It wasn't just the name that was altered though, the game itself was altered and all of the humans were replaced with robots. So Robot Protector kind of makes sense. This was because of European policies regarding violence, especially in Germany, which would negatively impact sales. To resolve the issue, they altered the game to feature robots instead of humans. But the gameplay itself remained identical. And the game was renamed Probotector. This name would stick for the game's sequels too, as they appeared on the NES, Game Boy, SNES, and Mega Drive. The Probotector character also actually makes an appearance in the NTSC Nintendo DS game, Contra 4. When the games released on the Virtual Console, they retained the original names they had in each region, which makes sense. But weirdly, when the miniature NES Classic console released in 2016, it included Super C, and it was the original unedited game in all regions. So there you go, there's some explanations for the title changes for a bunch of games that you may not have known about. Let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions for games that you'd like me to investigate that have had weird name changes that you'd like to know the reasons behind. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with my content. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.